Hi, here we are, uh, sitting with, uh, standing here with Saul again in front of her super adobe uh, structure. Uh, it's going to be a future hammam, uh, like a, a bathhouse, uh, for her guests to use and I assume her family to use. Uh, Saul, so tell me quick, a super adobe, how, how, does this, how is this built? Uh, well, super adobe, uh, it's, it's an Irani uh, Nader Kali who invented this technique, is in order to use the the same uh, earth that you are in place, you mix it with uh, 5% up to 10% of cement, and then you mix it dry, you put it in sacks, you see, uh, yeah. to make layers, and then you have to... Uh, back, back, back. And then you pound the you you pound. pound. So you get this structure like this, more or less, and with this you can build different shapes. So. We try to build domes. This is uh, a kind of shape that goes very good with this technique. They actually, they make lots of domes. And those two domes that you can see here, they will be used to make a hammam. So we are planning to put a rocket stove. We, have, uh, we are planning, we don't know exactly how everything will be done, with a big mass of water on top. So if the, the, um, the air from the hot, the steam, out of the water should go into the hammam and the the air burn hot mm. out of the rocket stove should hit the hammam. So that's the next project. We will see if it works. Right. So there we go. And and uh, this is done in layers. You showed me a little. Uh, uh, there you go. Okay. This right here. Uh, show me how that works. So. So here we put a bucket and we have some sacks that uh, they might be 100 meters long. This is the type of sacks you use to put um, onions inside. So uh, we fill the bucket with uh, the earth, which is already mixed with cement. And as soon as you fill it, there will be a sack coming down, like uh, caca, mm -hmm. <laughs> coming down. And we move this so it's uh, already put on the layer. Then you have to damp it very hard and the layer is made. In order to put the next layer, you put first two, two lines of, um, of wire. The wire with uh, spines, barbele, barb, barb wire. So it holds very well uh, the two layers of earth. And then you keep constructing, you keep building the, the dome or even those uh, walls in order to have the, the, the shelf for the showers and the place to change. Okay, and quickly, so you, you go across the, so you put one layer down and then you pull this across the next layer. So how do you do the higher layers? Do you build platforms next to it? How do you walk on that? Higher layers, you have to use, um, uh, I don't know the name in English. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, I'm blanking out on the name yeah. as well, sorry. It's more... Uh, sta scaffolding. Yes. Scaffolding, so it's more difficult, then you have to put the, to bring this, the... Buckets of earth up there. It's more difficult, so the best thing is not to go very high. Yeah, keep it low, keep it simple. Uh, yeah, you never, you would never move a sack like that. It, was, it would be very heavy. So that's the super adobe. People from my American audience, adobe is a uh, very common buildings in um, in Arizona, Mexico. And here we have a little bit of a modern version, nice and stiff, nice and easy. And look at this, you get a lovely rounded buildings. And uh, we have another project on the go here. Thank you very much, Saul. And um, let me just say, how long have you been building this quickly? I cannot tell you exactly. I, th I could say it takes us three months maybe for uh, actually building it, even if we started more than one year ago. But then we stop with other projects. It depends on the weather. It should not be under zero, below zero, so degrees Celsius. So more or less uh, three persons working the whole day, three months, I would say, to, to build that. Okay, there you go. Three months, three people, and uh, a lovely finish, and maybe a couple of months to go, and you put a finish on the outside. This is Joe from Sol and Joan's place here in the foothills of the Pyrenees, and, and uh, signing off from Telemann Bron. Take care.